to what extent was cocaine part of like just making movies for 20 years? Um, it, it was Donald. I the first cocaine I ever got, I was uh, directing Blue Collar, and my they do cocaine in that movie yeah, too. Yeah. My associate producer came up to me with a bindle and said, "Here, this will help you work more." That it doesn't. You can't pay attention to anything when you're on that crap. You just talk about, oh, we're going to start a, a surf and turf restaurant, and and then the and then well, the president's going to come. And, well, I, I kind of disagree. I mean, anybody who says the first two years on coke is bad is lying. Really? The first year and a half is kind of great. So I remember I used to write, and I would write start at maybe ten o'clock at night, write till five six in the morning. Uh, alcohol, nicotine, caffeine, cocaine. Boom, 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 boom. And you use those substances to work. You just roll around, yeah. down, up, down, up, down, up, down, until five in the morning. Now you've written 15 pages. There are little, little some typos in there, a little messy. <laughs> uh, but the next day you say, wow, that's really good, you know? You, f you feed all these people in the typewriter. They don't come out unless you feed them drugs. Uh -huh. And then you give them drugs and they come out. And they come on the table and they play and they make faces and they dance around. And you record them. And then the next day you rewrite them. And that used to be, that was great. And then it's changed. The art changed. Till finally at the very end of it, I was writing maybe one page over a 10 hour period. Yeah. And I was taking cocaine as an excuse. I was pretending to write. Yeah, I gotta work, <laughs> yeah. I gotta work. Yeah. yeah. I have work to do, <laughs> I gotta call the guy. Yeah. <laughs> and so then it took me, I think, from the day I decided to quit to the day I actually well, did quit, it was probably six years. To get back like to writing? No, just to get back to not thinking about it all day long. Really? Do you have to like move to a different city or something? Well, I moved to New York. I, I left my drug friends in Los Angeles. Yeah. And because I was in a very bad way, I moved to New York. And oh, guess, that's smart. There's not a lot of cocaine yeah, in New I, York. Get, yeah. Guess what? I made new drug friends. <laughs> that's pretty smart to go to New York to quit coke. I went to the Castro <laughs> district to quit at butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then I went to Japan. So then, then I went to Japan, which was drug free. Oh, they don't have drugs there. No, yeah. just speed. So you're back in the city right now. You want to call the guy? Should we hit up Marty? Black out all the windows. We'll make Taxi Driver too. He ended up in the hospital in Rome, you know. Really? And at the end of Raging Bull, there's that quote uh, about, uh, "Thank God I have come back to life." And I asked him, I said, that's just really not true about Jake LaMotta. Mm -hmm. Why did you put that quote in there? He said, I, I put it in there because of me. Yeah. That I, you know, I reached the point and I came back. And um, so, you know, we all, and, and some of us don't come back, you know. Yeah. Um, and it takes, it, it takes, it takes a while. I, I had, used to live up on Riverside Drive. And I was in that period where I was just, you know, gonna hold the line, hold the line. And I was at Penny Marshall's house around the corner, duplex. Mm -hmm. And the party on the one floor and the floor below, Penny is sitting there with Lauren Michaels and Mick Jagger. Oh, and cool. out come the drugs. And I'm going, oh boy. And now this is, this is the coffee table I've always wanted to be on. Penny, Lauren, and Mick talking, TV, jokes, music, whatever. I got up, I went to the bathroom, and I said to myself, if you can walk out of this room, you can walk out of any room. And I got up and I walked out of that room, and I walked 10 blocks home in the snow. I said, well, you did it, you walked out of that room. Lauren Michaels was like, do you want a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, it's agony when it's part of your social life, yeah. right? Yeah, um, but I mean, I don't think it's as de rigueur as it was when in the 70s when every party you went to, yeah. you know, people were taking. So people, it was like, it was like weed back then. Yeah. People were about like cocaine culture. They were like, legalize it, man. Yeah. yeah. Let's <laughs> Yeah. So... Cocaine, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs>